So around once a year, I like to take a look at some of my favourite movie related Easter eggs in video games. And this year's selection of film referencing Easter eggs are some of the best yet. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at 15 of my favourite movie referencing Easter eggs found in video games. Now, the usual rule of not having featured on my channel before doesn't apply here, as this isn't part of the video game Easter egg series. Though that doesn't mean there won't be some really cool Easter eggs that I haven't shared before. Oh, and if you are a fan of easter eggs and hidden details in video games then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about anyway without further delay let's get started so let's begin with the oldest game to feature in this video crisis warhead is a standalone expansion for 2007's crisis of course the crisis series is known for its phenomenal visuals and despite releasing in 2008 warhead looks good even by today's standards. Now, the easter egg of interest from Warhead can be found on the Frozen Paradise level. Around halfway through the snowy mission, you can find a very cold looking tunnel. Well, if you take the time to explore this tunnel, you can find this. So this... Well, I want to call it a squirrel, but I'm hardly David Attenborough, so I'll let you guys work out what it is, is a reference to Scrat from the 2002 film Ice Age. The squirrel slash rat seen in Crisis also seemed to be chasing an acorn, just like Scrat does in the movies. The next animated movie to get the video game reference treatment is 2001's Monsters Inc., though it's probably the most subtle easter egg in the entire video. Mr. Hop's Playhouse 2 is a 2D side-scrolling horror game centered around the creepy goings on at an orphanage. Now as mentioned, the easter egg in Mr. Hop's 2 is very subtle. So subtle that you may not even notice it. Once you reach the cellar, if you enter the code 2319 into the elevator, you can find this. So on the nearby boxes, a single white sock can be found. Now I know what you're thinking, how is this a reference to Monsters Inc? Well, do you remember this scene from the movie? On a roll today. George and I are like brothers. <gasps> 2319, we have a 2319. Stand back, careful. So in the movie, a monster is seen leaving a bedroom with a sock on its back, prompting the scream of 2319. The same code we entered into the elevator which caused the white sock to appear. Like I said, it's a really subtle easter egg but also a really cool one. Next up is a reference to a movie that may not be as well known as others you're going to see in this video but that doesn't make it any less cool. Fallout 76 is home to many movie references, some of which I've covered on this channel before, but I'm not actually sure if this particular easter egg was even in the game when it released. If you head to this location on the map, you can find this. So this chalk drawn door is a reference to the 1988 Tim Burton movie, Beetlejuice. In the movie, the door was used to travel to an otherworldly waiting room, though to learn this, a handbook was required, something which can also be found close by in Fallout 76. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure if this Easter egg was in the game at launch, so if a Fallout 76 expert could confirm if it was, that would be appreciated. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but there was a moment last year when portal jumping FPS shooter Splitgate look set to take over the internet. It even got to a point where there were so many people wanting to play Splitgate that the game servers were often forced offline, sometimes for days at a time. However, since then I feel like Splitgate isn't talked about anywhere near as much, and I don't know why as it is a really really good FPS. Anyway, the movie reference found in Splitgate is another easter egg that is very easy to miss, though not as easy as a tiny pixely sock. On the helix map inside one of the cells, you can find this. So this mask belongs to Hannibal Lecter, the cannibal serial killer first seen in Silence of the Lambs. Now, as well as being a supremely underrated game, Sunset Overdrive is also home to an absolute boatload of easter eggs. I mean, it's a game that even when you die, you're likely to see a reference to a movie. <laughs> Help me get this cat! 
Relax, man. What are we gonna spend it on? It's not about spending. Well, that reference to the ring isn't the Easter egg that I wanted to share today, even though it is pretty cool. The Easter egg I did want to share is actually this one. So this is of course the DeLorean and Marty McFly from the Back to the Future films. I mean, would it really be a video about movie easter eggs in video games if I didn't include at least one reference to Back to the Future? Now this next easter egg is perhaps the most debatable easter egg in the entire video. In Serious Sam, Siberian Mayhem, you can find this. So this outdoor toilet is, in my opinion at least, a reference to Shrek and the toilet that the ogre uses at the beginning of the film. Now, if it was just a toilet sitting in a swamp-like area, I probably wouldn't think anything of it. However, on the front of the toilet is the word somebody, which I'm almost certain is a reference to the song All Star by Smash Mouth, which was used in the same scene. Somebody like I said, it's perhaps the most debatable easter egg in the entire video, so let me know what you think. Next up are multiple movie references in one game. In Stranger Things 3 The Game, during the hospital level, you can find the patient charts of some very familiar people. First up is a patient by the name of F. Kruger. Mr. Kruger is in hospital due to his insomnia and severe nightmares. This is of course a reference to dream-killing, sweater-wearing horror icon Freddy Krueger. Next up is M. McFly, who is suffering from false memories and delusions, for which he's been referred to Dr. Brown. This is another reference to Marty McFly and his buddy Doc Brown from Back to the Future. The final patient of interest goes by the name of R. Balboa, who has been diagnosed with head trauma. Again, this one is pretty obvious. This particular patient is boxing movie legend Rocky Balboa. The next movie referenced is actually one of my favourite films of all time. In 2D Shooter Huntdown, you can find this. Secret found. <laughs> Plane Zero. So this scene is a reference to 1987's The Running Man, and this scene in particular. <laughs> Sub-Zero, now Plane Zero. Another reference to a movie that I love can be found in the Psycho Krieg and the Fantastic Fuster Cluck DLC for Borderlands 3. Try saying that fast five times. Towards the end of the DLC, you come across this room. So this partially destroyed lobby area is a reference to the famous lobby shootout scene from the original Matrix movie. Now, when it comes to games that you would expect to have easter eggs, tower defense games probably aren't high on that list. Well, that's where Kingdom Rush Vengeance comes in to rock your world. That is, if your world could be rocked by discovering Vengeance is home to many easter eggs. Whatever floats your boat. On the Clockwork Factory level, if you click the ring, click on the creature hiding behind the rock, and then click the little guy three more times, this will happen. My precious. My precious. I mean, this one doesn't really need explaining, but just in case it does, this is a reference to Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Now, as is the case of a lot of games to feature in this video, Cyberpunk 2077 is home to tons of movie-related Easter eggs. So many that picking just one for this video was kind of tough, but my personal favourite is the one that is found at this location on the map. So 
So this underground bunker with a man who decided to take a bath in acid and a young woman is a reference to Ten Cloverfield Lane, where John Goodman's character suffers a very similar fate. So Sifu is a game that is heavily inspired by martial arts movies, both new and old. But there is one area in particular that references one of the best martial arts movies of recent years. During the squats level, you can find this. Open it! Open up! Don't make me bust it! Check this fucking clown out! Instant! What? So this corridor fight scene is a reference to the amazing corridor fight scene from 2003's Old Boy, which if you haven't watched in full, you really should. Oh, and with the ability to mod Sifu to change your character's appearance, you can make this scene look even more like the film by giving your character the Old Boy suit. So the final easter egg for today's video probably doesn't count as it's not an officially released game, but you have to admit it does make for a great thumbnail. Halloween is a game based on the classic horror movie franchise. As you'd expect, you're tasked with escaping Michael Myers as he hunts you down in an abandoned hospital. Well, not content with featuring one horror movie killer, the developer of this fan-made game decided to add another. If you complete the game and wait for five seconds for the quote-unquote true ending, this will happen. So I had to edit this scene as it was originally deemed too gory for YouTube, but Jason Voorhees actually kills the character you're playing as before standing face to face with Michael Myers. Like I said, it makes for a great thumbnail and also makes me wish for an actual Halloween game. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.